All right, welcome back. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is side chain compression. Now, the techniques are not as complex as it would be as they would be in some of your other DAWs, but it's still possible to be done without even using automation. Well, it is a form of automation and it's essentially auto duck. So let's get into it. You'll hear it right on these strings right here. All right, here we go. You'll hear it right here. I'm going to solo. I'm actually going to take out the drum as well as this cavern. That's it without it. Okay. Now let's take out, let's leave it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, catch the next wave. Now what I'm also going to do is add auto duck again and take a look right so we've got the newer auto duck <laughs> so let's see if we can achieve a similar thing with presets alone right there's nothing wrong with diving in and fine-tuning things but you know just let's have a little fun and enjoy and start with some presets and dive in a little bit more let's see what we got can we hear it how can we achieve that same more aggressive duck well for one we can just simply increase the duck okay that's one way we can also adjust how long it ducks for we can adjust how long it holds the duck for let's put the drum back in okay and you can also automate this as well right so let's just do it like that i hope that was a good quick example of how you can use auto duck in fl studio mobile okay so let's get into it let's dive in a little bit deeper on the way out all right we can actually shift the auto duck as well so let's see if we can catch the next one all right we may have to rewind guys let's do it why not right here and let's do it with it shifted i'm going to max actually let's choose uh let's choose there we go look at that the hard hard off beat look at that it's right there right let's add the rest in all right guys thanks a lot for checking this one out